Martina. Blair. Bridget. In this video, we're going to show you how to safely operate a Bunsen burner. This is a Bunsen burner. While they come in a variety of designs, the setup and operation is essentially the same. In these labs, Bunsen burners will already have a hose attached to them. The first step is to ensure that the air intake at the base of the Bunsen burner is closed. Attach the other end of the hose to the gas outlet. Ensure you have a lighter ready. There are different types available, so it is important that you are familiar with how each one works. For a spark lighter, squeeze the handles together repeatedly until sparks appear. You may need to adjust the pressure of the squeezing action. For a wand lighter, you may need to press the safety with your thumb. Holding down the safety, pull and hold the trigger with your finger until a flame appears. Turn on the gas and use your lighter to ignite the Bunsen. If using a spark lighter, make sure you are creating sparks in the gas flow. If you're unable to light the Bunsen after a few attempts, turn off the gas tap and check both the lighter and the air intake of the Bunsen before trying again. When the flame is yellow, you can adjust the air intake to create a hotter flame. When the air intake is fully open, the flame will become blue, change shape to a focused cone, and burn extremely hot. In many cases, you will use a tripod with a Bunsen burner. This tripod should be topped with a gauze pad if heating a flask or beaker, or a clay triangle if heating a crucible. It is generally a good idea to set up a tripod away from the Bunsen burner and move the burner underneath the tripod once it has been lit. If you need a more extreme heat, you can place the Bunsen burner on a small wooden block to bring the hottest part of the flame directly underneath the crucible. To remove the crucible, use a pair of tongs as the crucible will be too hot to touch directly. The rest of the setup will be very hot for some time after the gas has been turned off, so you must take care when handling the equipment. 